In the brutal world of heavyweight boxing, there are moments that transcend the sport. Moments where the line between triumph and defeat blurs, and the human spirit is tested like never before. Tommy the Duke Morrison was no stranger to these moments. Known for his explosive power and relentless aggression, Morrison's career was filled with victories that sent shockwaves through the boxing world, but also losses that nearly shattered him. His story is one of sheer will and determination, a fighter who faced everything, from elite contenders to the most bizarre circumstances imaginable. And tonight, we relive two of the most iconic and unforgettable battles in his career. Two fights that would define not only his place in the ring, but his legacy in boxing history. In June 1995, Tommy Morrison stepped into the ring for what many considered one of the most dangerous fights of his career. His opponent? Donovan Razor Ruddock, a formidable heavyweight who was not only known for his size and strength, but also for his devastating smash punch. This punch, a hybrid between a hook and an uppercut, had knocked out some of the biggest names in the division, including Mike Tyson's previous opponents. Ruddock was feared for his sheer power, and few opponents who stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him left the ring without feeling the impact of his brutal fists. The stakes were high for both fighters. For Morrison, this was a make-or-break moment. After suffering a shocking first-round knockout defeat to the unheralded Michael Bent in 1993, Morrison's career was hanging by a thread. His aspirations of fighting for the heavyweight crown seemed distant after that loss. While he had managed to rebuild with some victories, the critics were still skeptical about his ability to rise to the elite level of heavyweight boxing. A win against Ruddock, however, would solidify his return to prominence. On the other side, Ruddock, who had already gone the distance with legends like Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis, was seen as the more seasoned fighter. He, too, had something to prove. His chin had failed him against Lennox Lewis in 1992, and he needed a strong win to re-establish himself as a top contender. From the opening bell, it was clear this was going to be a war between two heavy hitters. Morrison, with his aggressive and pressure-forward style, didn't waste any time trying to assert his dominance. He threw hard, purposeful combinations, pushing Ruddock back toward the ropes. But Ruddock was no stranger to taking and giving punishment. He stood tall, responding with measured punches. For Morrison, the risk was clear. He couldn't afford to get reckless against a man with Ruddock's reputation for sudden, explosive knockouts. As the rounds progressed, the fight turned into a slugfest. Ruddock's signature weapon, the smash punch, found its target on several occasions. Morrison had felt the full force of it, but to everyone's surprise, the Kansas native stood firm and responded in kind. His left hook, a punch that had become his calling card, began to find its mark. Fast and thunderous, it repeatedly rocked Ruddock, snapping his head back and forcing him to retreat. The fourth and fifth rounds were brutal, with both fighters throwing everything they had. Ruddock, relying on his experience, tried to slow Morrison's advance by targeting the body and landing heavy counters when Morrison closed the distance. Morrison, however, was relentless. His game plan was simple. Stay aggressive and land his power shots. The crowd was on its feet. The sixth round would prove to be a turning point. After enduring several rounds of back-and-forth action, Morrison began to sense that Ruddock was starting to fade. Though Ruddock's power was still dangerous, his movement had slowed, and his punches didn't seem to have the same sting as earlier in the fight. Morrison, smelling blood, became more aggressive, looking for the opening that would end the night, and it came in the form of his signature left hook. In the middle of an exchange, Morrison unleashed a textbook left hook that crashed into Ruddock's jaw. The impact was devastating. Ruddock crumbled to the canvas, and the crowd exploded into wild cheers. For a moment, it seemed as though the fight was over. The referee began his count, and Ruddock lay on the mat, dazed and trying to gather himself. But in true warrior fashion, Ruddock beat the count, rising to his feet by sheer will. He had taken Morrison's best shot and still found the strength to continue. The seventh round was equally explosive. Both men knew the fight could end at any moment. Morrison pressed forward with renewed energy, throwing punches in bunches, looking to put Ruddock away for good. Ruddock, though hurt, refused to back down, swinging back with all the power he had left. But Morrison was relentless. 
he landed another hard left hook that staggered Ruddock, followed by a furious barrage of punches. Ruddock's defenses crumbled under the assault, and, it, and the referee had no choice but to step in and stop the fight. The fight was over, and Tommy Morrison was declared the winner by TKO in the seventh round. The crowd erupted in celebration as Morrison raised his arms in victory. It was, without question, one of the biggest wins of his career. Just a few months after the battle with Ruddock, Morrison found himself in one of the most bizarre and unorthodox situations in boxing history. It was August 30, 1993, and Morrison was scheduled to defend his World Boxing Organization WBO heavyweight title in Kansas City. His opponent was Mike Williams, a competent heavyweight with a respectable record, and everything appeared to be in place for what was expected to be a routine title defense for Morrison. But boxing delivered a twist that no one saw coming. Hours before the fight, an unexpected turn of events left the entire boxing world in shock. Mike Williams mysteriously withdrew from the bout. Williams, who had reportedly been training for the fight, cited mental and physical unpreparedness. Whether it was nerves, a last-minute injury, or some other unseen factor, Williams simply wasn't going to show up. Morrison's team, the fight promoters, and the fans were left scrambling, searching for a solution to save the night's main event. A title fight, a packed arena, and national television coverage were all on the line. The show had to go on. Tim Tomaszek, a journeyman fighter with a modest record, had come to the event as a spectator, never imagining that by the end of the night, he'd be standing in the ring across from a fighter like Morrison. Known for his unremarkable physique, hence the nickname, The Doughboy, Tomaszek was the embodiment of an underdog. A self-described average Joe, he was certainly not the picture of a top-tier heavyweight. He lacked the chiseled frame of a prime athlete, instead sporting a softer, less intimidating appearance, with a noticeable beer belly that added to his unlikely image as a contender. Tomaszek was quickly approached by fight organizers after Williams's withdrawal and asked if he would step in as Morrison's opponent. Incredibly, he agreed. The boxing community and fans in attendance were dumbfounded. There was an air of disbelief in the arena. Could this really be happening? no one expected him to last more than a few minutes against Morrison. As the battle started, Morrison, despite the bizarre circumstances, approached the fight with professionalism. He landed powerful body shots and combinations early, looking to break down the overmatched journeyman. But Tomaszek, to the surprise of many, showed heart. He absorbed Morrison's punishing blows, but refused to go down easily. With each passing round, the crowd began to rally behind him, appreciating his courage and resilience. In the second and third rounds, Tomaszek was visibly hurt several times by Morrison's heavy punches, but each time he found a way to stay on his feet. By the fourth round, it was clear that Tomaszek had reached his limit. He was taking heavy punishment, and Morrison, sensing the end, began to increase the pressure. After several punches from Morrison, the referee stepped in and stopped the fight. For Morrison, it was little more than a bizarre footnote in his career. It wasn't the kind of victory that would bolster his resume or lead to bigger opportunities, but it was a necessary performance to fulfill his contractual obligations and maintain his standing as WBO champion. Though Tomaszek didn't win the fight, he walked out of the ring with his head held high, having earned the admiration of the crowd for his bravery. Morrison's legacy would be built on many moments like these, unexpected, sometimes chaotic, but always memorable. In the end, it was his ability to rise to the occasion, no matter the circumstances, that made him one of the most electrifying and unpredictable fighters of his era. Which of these two moments was the wildest for you? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more similar videos.